So with that, I want to break down the, the business model for the solar industry so that people have that awareness of what the, what the process looks like so that they don't get kind of tricked into these different marketing schemes that are out there. It's like you end up working with a third party that A, may not even understand the product. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes to actual installation, you could end up with something that may not fit your actual needs. And even though maybe you paid less than the competitor, but you ended up with a system that doesn't actually match what you need to create that offset. And that's a big thing too. So we'll, we'll, we'll dive into that, but let's talk about the different components. So I, I know that obviously there's the, the solar manufacturer, right? That builds the solar panels and there's a bunch of different companies. I'm, I'm assuming throughout the United States that build these solar panels. Then the manufacturers, they know how to build. They don't know how to market. So they need a marketing company. And that's where you get the misrepresentation that'll happen here is what I'm assuming. So you have marketing companies, or we can call them third party agencies. And it's essentially like a sales force. Would you agree with that? So then the marketing company, all they do is sell, educate the client, right? If it's done properly, like you do, you present the product, educate them, take them through a process. Now the marketing company needs an installation, right? Or we can call that installer, right? Mm -hmm. These are the people that actually put the panels on your roof. That's when you actually see the tangible product coming to your, to your home. Yes. Is there, and then there's obviously the, the overseer of all this, the, the government, which provides the, the regulations, issues the permits the approvals right yeah is there any other department that we could be missing here or is yeah, this all, pretty much what it is also the utility companies the utility company there you go yeah. sometimes those are government sometimes those are privately held sometimes those are little tiny co-ops um every state and city is a little bit different but yeah we are dealing with the um what i call the product partner so that would be the manufacturer. Then right. we're dealing with the, the companies that are actually doing the installation and the education and the sales and the project management. And though that's different. There are some companies that are in-house that do all of it, like little local mom and pop solar mm -hmm. companies that will you know, produce a certain product, also do their own installations, also have their own internal sales force, also do their own you know, warranties and overseen. So they'll do everything. They're kind of like the, uh, the general contractor, but they're using everything in house. Then there's other companies that will be more like a general contractor and use the best of all of it and oversee it. So someone hires them just like they would hire someone to build a house for them. And that person will go and source all the best materials, the best crew to do the installation. They'll oversee the project management. They'll handle all the permits. They will support with, you know, financing. Um, they, they oversee everything, which is the situation I'm kind of in, like the, the general con contractor position uh, versus everything being in-house with uh, manufacturing and just like a one company. Um, but then the utility companies and the, the government that's always outside. So whether you hire like a general contractor sort of option or a local in-house mom and pop, they we've all got to deal with the local utility and government regulations and permits the same way. Gotcha. Awesome. Yeah. So thank you for providing that uh, overview here. So recapping, this is the, the business model of those that are listening that are gonna go through a process, whether you work with Maureen or someone else, these are the different components. So there, there is no other opportunity where someone says, yeah, listen, you're not gonna to have to pay for anything, no money out of pocket, and the government's gonna pay for it all. <laughs>